Hi, welcome to Petroleum Software Online Training. Uh, this is lecture number six, and our contents is going to be about how to do net to gross property modeling. We are going to create the model for net to gross oil water contact then we are going to do volume calculation and at last and the end of this course we are going to do results analysis so first let's begin with net to gross property model so net pay distributions mean the purpose of the net pay model is to calculate the quantity of reservoir lock or pro productive lock and eliminate the non-productive and non-reservoir lock based on well data. Our intention here is to calculate the on, only the area where we are saying it's a productive lock. So we are eliminating the productive lock to the non-productive lock. So how are we going to define this? We need now to see then how to calculate the net to gross property. So net to gross property, uh, first we need to have the net and NTG logs. And once we are not given the NTG logs, you have to define by yourself. First, most of the time we just analyze, do an, some analysis on, on, the, on the NTG based on the other logs which we have been provided for example sp or sensitivity so we you need you need to use those kind of data to calculate the ntg but based on uh, on our example here or our data we are going to calculate our ntg based on the alpha alpha so we are going to use alpha to calculate the ntg mod and the methods which are going to be used here is sequential Gaussian simulation, which is uh, is under stochastic modeling. As we've said, sto stochastic modeling is is only the method which is being used uh, if you have been provided with few data. But if we have a lot of data, you can uh, you can use maybe deterministic uh, modeling methods. So, but for us, since we only have nine wells, we need to use stochastic methods, which is very easy for us. And the software will assume some of the distribution of the data throughout the model using the stochastic modeling. So, stochastic modeling will be used to model according to this example, since we have only few informations from the well. We have only nine wells. So we need to use stochastic modeling and within this stochastic, stochastic modeling that's where we are going to, to apply sequential Gaussian simulation. So now let's see how we can move on and we can move on this kind of data. Here we have now our wells. So now we have to move direct to our well here. And then we need to add NTG. We are going to do the same. You have to right click. So NTG is a continuous data. It is continuous, okay. NTG. Here is log 22 have to change to NTG net to gross net to gross so here it is Net to gross. Then have to write NTG. Up 
cry okay now let's calculate this value as I need to put this data here so according to my data I'm going to calculate NTG based on the alpha so I've just assumed like for if the alpha value is less than 0 0.9 then you can use for example for lithology we have been defined our last last lithology was 0 0.85 like we have if alpha is less than 0 0.7 then that that was the results of this data was giving you something which is oh oh it was sun sun and congruent but while the value of lithology when it was in between 0 0.7 to 0 0.85 this was giving us uh, signs and for fine sand and for the value of above 0 0.85 it was giving us a shell so shell for us it's a lock which is not it's a non reservoir lock so now we are we are looking for the productive area which is the reservoir lock so we are assuming that if the alpha value uh, from the lithology here it was showing it was showing us like the value uh, above this alpha value it's mean it's a non productive value so according to ntg we are looking for the value which is productive so we are going to say like if the alpha is less than zero point it's eight five eight five then the results of our ntg is one otherwise is zero so one will represent will stand for the productive lock and zero represent non reproductive non reproductive lock then come here to this side where I need to choose alpha we are calculating this value of NTG based on the log of alpha so we have to choose alpha then apply okay that's okay so now here is our NTG like we got our NTG now after that let's move to the process we need to upscale then let's upscale our log it's for NTG okay let's use this which I have to calculate based on that one apply okay then this is our NTG mode then after that then let's move to the data analysis NTG here you, you can you can decide to do uh, like to do some data data analysis based on different layer for for so if i click here it means i'm going to do the same setting for all zones then i will come here to open so it's just emphasis condition okay let's use this information let's use the like once you accept once you accept this one to be used like our ntg will fall the the way our storage is since we have already we have already uh mold the model for lithology then we are we, we want this lithology to be following the the ntg model to to follow the our lithology so it's okay you can just continue just continue okay so this is normal it's okay if I output it's okay input output it 
but this one is it's a bit for normal it's a bit okay so then let's move here we have said we are going to use 32 for minor direction is also 32 and for major directions vertical direction is going to be 32 okay that's all okay the graph is good then go to the major We need to just change the direction of this one. Now problem transformation. Okay, let's remove the output. Just change the direction of this one until you get something which is a bit nice. Okay, minor direction. Okay, so after this, just apply. Okay, so we did that analysis. Then let's move to the petrol physical modeling where we are going to model the NTG. We are going to model the same setting for all zones oh i'm sorry let's go back for that for the data analysis remember we did that analysis it was for this one first so you have to copy copy like copy setting from the selected faces and then we need to use the same setting to the all oh, okay let's just put no condition once we put something like this one would have got something good 32 here thirty-two so the first time when we were doing this modeling while the faces was all off here we got just few data here because we only were trying to do that analysis for only one layer so now we are doing we are doing it for all the layers so that's why as you can see here we have a lot of data we have a lot okay so now 
we're going to do okay okay yes petrophysical modeling then let's do this for all zones we're going to tick this one use the program for data setting we have already we have estimate which is the output then co-grading expertise ordinarily okay let's use simple the method for faces we have said for ntg we are going to use sequential gaussian simulation the same applied as we said here like the methods we are, which we are going to use is sequential gaussian gaussian simulation so that will be the method sequential gaussian simulation because we have only few data for the only few have a few don't have a lot of information so now let's create our model for ntg here it is click okay then this is our ntg mode you can just right click here color here and here apply so the color legend it's here so this is our result for our ntg model ntg so after this then now let's let's go and see how to do now let's move to the to the other stage we have already seen the ntg mode so now let's see how to calculate oil water contact since we have all, we have already calculated all the informations so now our next slide tell us to calculate how to do how to calculate the, the oil water contact or water oil contact so now how can we do that at first what we need to do first in order to calculate the oil water contact we need to define the contacts all the water contacts we need to define the contents so how are we going to do this using petrol now our first step we need to come here like to mark to our process and then you go back to the structure modeling then after structure modeling we are going to make contact here so our contact first we have two types of contact there is gas oil contact and there is oil water contact but according to this example we are going to have on the oil water contact so we have only one contact so this one needs to be removed we need to remain with this one and then here you need to define the segment for example our contact if our, our oil water contact it would have been maybe at a certain distance at a certain depth so you, you what you were supposed to, to do you were supposed to come here and write maybe at the 78 785 meters this is the depth so but now since we have nine wells and each well because of the, even the structure of our of our reservoir in each wells the contact maybe is much different from the other so first what we need to do you have to click here and to insert drop the surface from the selected item we need to define first the the contact by ourselves so how will, will, uh, are we going to define this one then 
you need first to come here to the well logs to our data wells then you just come to our well top and then remember to put the to open our 2d window like this one okay now yes you have to to, to to define it like this oh i have something like this let's remove this one okay let's remove this okay so you need you need to to come to the 2d window and then after this one then there's some of the few well for example for me i've just opened this rt rt this one i've seen oh, no, no, no. okay So this is like resistance it's a resist resistivity so what are we going to to use this resistance like we're going to define our we're going to define what what score is our contact so how are we going to define contact? We are going to define contact based on the well tops here. So first you have to open our tops and then after that you have to come here and set other well top. So we just go to the well top here and then the name this well top as water oil water contact this is the top well top so here is then after that you need to you need to come here create a uh, edit well tops so okay let's remove all of them first yeah and then click this one so we are going to use resistivity like as you can see here at this part there is high resistivity at this area so according to the chemistry or physics point of view like resistance resistance become uh, big or huge at the point where there is something which is is not conducting electricity so according to hydrocarbons oil oil cannot is a bad conductor of electricity so that's why when you come at this point you find that there is high resistivity here so we are going to define this as our water contact so you just click here and then you'll come to this another well here you just click here it is within there then you'll just come here you click you can see this line and then you have to click here to this third well fourth well and then to this well so for the wells if you don't find in anywhere there is no this kind of data it's you just leave it like the way it is there's no problem so the software automatically will use the available data for the available wells so after that then then we have already created our tops which shows the limit of our of our of our well top so now 
uh, we didn't define this but you have to define it like that then now after that then let's make a surface so how to make surface as we remember just come to this part and then this is our level. we are going to make a surface based on this contact we have made then how to do this delete okay you say surface oil water contact surface so this is the surface we can use the same bundle we have been using generate then reduce the reduce our limit then after that after that well adjustment we're going to use this top then after that click OK now since we have already created our our surface we can just come here input here is our surface this is our surface which shows it's a surface which shows the contact like at this area it's where now our oil is within like down this surface is water and upper part of this surface is oil so now after this you have to go again to the structure modeling now we're going to make contact so how to make contact as we said we, are, we only make the oil water contact we don't we are not interested with this gas oil contact then here we need to to click ok all zones and then you have to add you have to add the surface we have made which is here then after this the contact contact type is oil water contact it's okay the contact name the contact name is oil water contact so contact type all down it's okay okay that's okay then apply after you apply you have to go to our model here here it's our fluid here it's our fluid contact so here it is do you see this is our all water contact so let's remove this is our all water contact so after creating our uh, our contact set of fluid water contact now we are ready to calculate the our volume like you have to move to our next slide on the calculation of the reservoir so this is our final point where we were in interested to be doing in this course like we said our final part will be how to calculate the reserves so calculation of the reserve is one of the common common is common used model could be exactly calculated in each layer each block of the reserve in the definition of oil water interface make contact in the formation of the oil water interface as input of the calculation of reserve this straightforward calculation for the reserve must be also used user must also user do methods to examine all tasks so now what we need to do since we have already made our contact we have made our contact here so we have our contact here 
So now what we have to do now is to do volume calculations. So volume calculation, we need first to come to this part of volume calculation here. And then you have to say, okay, we have oil water contact now come this side accept contact only just click here okay so this will be our oil water contact and then we need to defend our NTG is there and our polosity which we are going to use polosity number three then we have our oil saturation model it's there okay we can just leave this condition the same like the way it is we don't have gas so just click here to the results what we need to check we need to calculate our STOP. We need just to calculate this one. STOP. And then to find out about our recover, recoverable oil. Then, if you need more than one result, you can just tick this one. But for me, I just need to. We, I, we, I'm interested to get this and this one. Or you can just click also this one, there is no problem. So the report which is going to made is going to be made based on this one. And also I need to get maybe the map. Make the map in a grid of one maybe one one the our resolution of our STLP and the cover it's okay. So after this no need of other information you can check the formula here for net back volume pole something like that it's okay so once you finish to defend this one just click okay run then the system will automatically start to calculate the volume met according to the available data so this is the, our last stage uh, during this process of creating our 3D geological model and here are our results here are our results so petrol scrambaji the name project is oil field model is called the Pesalti which is petroleum soft online training our grid is 3d input uh, everything is in uh, our measurements are on our units are on, in meter so hydrocarbon intervals we uh, we said we are only based on the only interval we just we, we need to find out how much we have and then we have the lower oil contact is oil water contact uh, so so now these are some informations which are within there so our uh, back volume with three net volume three pov volume three uh, hydrocarbons uh, or total volumes of oil is five thousand three hundred and one so this is our STLP, our reserves, our reserve is in this part, like it was 5,000 and like it's in this part, this is our, is our volume, so this is our volume and here down you can find out like in each layer we have we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten zones. So in each zones, it shows here 
how much which zone have it accommodates with a lot of oil so you can see for example in this zone here this stone is the one which is having a lot of oil so uh, during drilling also this will help us to show to, to give you like the indication like you, we have to to our intentions we have to maybe to drill to put our effort maybe to drill uh, this hydrocarbons from this zone now you can see this is just an analysis in each zone uh, depending on our results which have been provided so here also there is a recoverable oil so recoverable oil in these zones even here you can see that this is our recoverable oil which can be recovered so it's like all of the, our oil under our stop it can be recovered so now you can just come here then serve petrol report you just click save here instead of copy you can use save so now we just go to desktop and then world data okay let's save this here now you can just minimize our desktop minimize and then you can find out like your informations you can find out your information in, in, on our desktop on our desktop okay let's check let's go to our desktop Petrol desktop. It's here. Petrol report. So this is our report. You can then define. You decide to use and write something on this report. So you just explain because we were trying to to build a mod. Our model was created just based on volume calculation so you can just write your report based on the volume calculations like the volume the, our back volume our oil in press like our standard oil in press the recovered ones you can then explain in your report how much have you seen like how much do you get according to the zones like here you can say in this for this zone maybe it was a comprise comprised of 1000 and uh, 1091 times 10 power 6 uh, also you can just it, it just it, it's like that then you have to let a report so at the end of this i'm asking you to write a report based on this information so now i want to show you like you can also be able to view some of the informations for example just come here okay then our 2d okay sorry okay 3d you can just click some of the information like this and you can even view it's 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 very big it's nice once you view them according to this one to the 2d value so for the 2d 2d view it's something good like you can view some of the information and you can explain you can explain them for like according to the strp let's do this 
so the color shows that our volume is more at this point like at this uh, blue dots like the volume is high so our oil is just concentrated in this part so this is based on the 2d view you can just check all of them so also there is another window here there is a new map something like this which can help you you can use this one also to view and explain some of the informations based on the SLP so this is just will just help you to explain everything even for the lithology this is based on the 2d so while lighting the reports you can use this kind of the informations to write so just petrol it just gives you some of the different methods to write some reports also you can you can come to the new plot like this one and then you can decide okay no okay let's go to the new interpretation window okay you just come to the window and then new function window it's a new function window and then you can check maybe x axis let's put velocity and the y axis let's put water saturation so this is like a relationship between water saturation and velocity and there is another another mod here we didn't build this mod for permeability it was for permeability okay let's let's you can just put some of it like the way it is you can say okay let me check the, okay yeah you can see anything for this one it's simple for you you can you can you can view some of the informations based on the based on the model the property the models so you can use the model to investigate different value on this interpretation the new interpretation or plot the plot or function window so this function window new function window can be used to show the relationship between the porosity and permeability ntg and porosity so you can use this one also uh, to put some of the information while you want to explain a bit about the, your model like how porosity values with ntg how porosity values with uh, something like maybe permeability so in this this will be our end of this uh this will be our end of this exam, uh, of this creation of the model and what i was trying to explain it was like this one the relationship between the porosity and permeability like porosity and permeability are most important phys phys physical property of the yeast reservoir they, dis they, dis they discuss ways describing the centripetal. So, you, as you can see, this is one of the work which was being done on a certain research. So, you can see, like, the, it shows the permeability and porosity relationship. So, so this is one of the very really important issue to be doing using petrol so you can just check the relationship between the 
properties which have been provided as we can see here so polo palm relationship mostly permeability is controlled by porosity where this there is a large value of porosity in place there is more fluid flow paths so a plot which will you will be built using or based, using the our petrol can also help you to define or to find out about the reservoir because what we are doing here is about reservoir characterization so reservoir characterization is one of the important parts you have to to do a lot of clarifications and check the characteristic of your reservoir based on the different kind of relationship so this is what this is how you can use petrol and how we can build different kind of models depending on the data we have been provided so thank you once again to join our class this is our end of the class and then get prepared for our next class based on how to do numerical simulation using eclipse so at the end of this lecture you have to scroll down there you'll find out there is other data which you, you can you can use them as an exercise please you have to build your own model and then you have to create uh, to calculate the volume according to the data provided so thank you once again and please this is petroleum software online training bye bye and welcome once again see you